Hey everybody, what's going on? So just back here with another video. Um, just was uh, scrolling through Twitter earlier, and uh, Pierre Polyev, you know, he's just continuing to take to take shots at the uh, the Trudeau and Singh coalition. So here he says Justin Trudeau and Jagmeet Singh support oil as long as it comes from foreign countries. Common sense conservatives will abolish Trudeau's anti energy laws and unleash clean, ethical energy production. And there's a quick video he has here. It's just uh, about a minute long. So we'll have a look at this and then we'll talk about it after like usual. Welcome aboard the Fundy Rose, everybody. I'm just pulling into St. John. And look at that there. That is the, the Irving Refinery. And this is where they bring oil from overseas, mostly Saudi Arabia, but also Nigeria. Uh, a couple years ago, I checked. It was about 130,000 barrels of overseas oil. I understand they actually bring natural gas there as well. Now, obviously, you still need these fuels, but why are we bringing them from abroad? We've got the third biggest supply of oil of any country on planet Earth. We have the most environmentally friendly and responsible energy sector. And we have the best workers. We should be bringing these jobs home. That means repealing Trudeau's anti-energy law, C69. It means rapidly approving LNG liquefaction plants. It means... Uh, supporting Newfoundland's plan to more than double its production of oil so that the oil that comes here can come from Newfoundland rather than coming from overseas. Uh, this is a common sense plan to bring home our paychecks for our people in this country. Defund the dirty dictators abroad, produce responsible Canadian energy, and bring it home. You know, that's a great point that he made at the end there. Why are we giving our money? Uh, why are we purchasing oil from people who are running dictatorships? We're getting a lot of oil from countries who are at war right now. <clears throat> We're also getting countries where we have to now use fuel, get in a boat, all the way over to you know wherever we're, whatever countries we're getting the oil from, and then bring it back using even more fuel just to get our fuel when we have fuel in Canada. Now, if you're an environmental climate activist or whatever the fuck you want to call yourself, and you think this is a good idea, you need to really rethink this. Because when you have, when you have to call, or use fuel to go get fuel, now you're releasing that fuel, that carbon into the environment just to get our fuel over here, which is going to be released in the environment. Drill it here. Use pipelines. You can get it all over the place. It'd be way cheaper to distribute here. We could sell it to other countries as well and make some damn money and get some of that, maybe get some of that national debt paid off. But instead, we're using fuel to go buy fuel to bring it back to then sell it at a way higher price than it should be. Using that much fuel, do you think that's good for the environment? Buying <clears throat> oil from other countries that are in war, which are slamming bombs into the earth, is that good for the environment? And let, let, let me guess, Justin Trudeau's private jet is also good for the environment, right? This is why Pierre Polyev has used the mantra of common sense, because the liberals don't have a damn ounce of it. Not even a little bit. And this is why you need someone like Pierre Polyev to come in and say something extremely obvious, because people just don't get it. They've been bought into this hoax of, oh... The world's on fire and all, all this shit. And yet here you have like, um, or another example, oh, the ice caps are melting. Now, the people who are telling you that are also very rich, right? Where do rich people buy their properties? Near the beach, near the ocean. Well, that would be a very bad idea if what they're saying is true, right? If the ice caps are melting and the water levels are supposed to rise, guess who's going to get wiped out first? The coasts. So why would all these rich people who are terrifying you into believing all this stuff, wasting their money on a house that's just going to get destroyed and flooded. Or maybe they don't really believe what they're actually telling you. Ask yourself that question. Why do all the people who are scaring you, who are rich, buy houses on the beach when they know it would get destroyed if what they were saying is true? Just, just ask yourself that question and try to use a little bit of logic and you'll come up with a great answer, I'm sure. And that's how you start to develop some common sense, some logical thinking. So if you're liberal and you listen to this, just, okay, use your brain, don't use your feelings, and see what you can come up with. Ask yourself that question. Also, in the comment section, please let me know what you guys think about this whole, you know, let's go to, 
let's go to war torn countries to get to get our oil and well that's well it's also on fire from all the wars gee bombs oil and fire what could go wrong what do you guys think about that do you think that's a good idea or do you think that we should be getting our oil here creating jobs which are good strong unionized jobs they're well-paying jobs with good benefits shouldn't we have those jobs here shouldn't we be selling this oil to other countries to make money let me know what you think in the comments section i always enjoy uh, hearing what you guys have to say thanks again so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps grow the channel thanks again so much for watching and i hope that you guys have a great day